Today I'm making good old basic scones, just really as flour and some kind of liquid. So what I'm doing now is rubbing some butter through the flour. It's only a little bit of butter to flour, say um, about 30 grams to two cups of flour, and that actually makes quite a rich scone dough. Now a little bit of sugar, and I do mean a little bit, this is icing sugar. The only reason that I'm using icing sugar is because uh, it won't end up with little white blobs on top of the scones. Call me a fuss pot, well I am a bit. Now, you make a sort of a well in the middle, and this is where people start to get a little bit nervous about the liquid being added. You want to add about half of the measured liquid if, you, if you're into measuring. Um, just toss it around really gently. I use a knife, some people like to use a, a spoon. Now, once you've mixed about half of the milk in, or half roughly, have a look at the dough. Don't work the rest of the flour into that semi-wet uh, dough in the middle because that will only just toughen the, toughen the scones. Now add another decent dollop of the liquid. You've made a judgment call on how much it's going to take. And just gently move the mixture about. What you're aiming to get is a soft, sticky dough. Now we have to knead the dough. Now this is the part where people can go wrong. Flour your hands quite well and then get the dough into some kind of reasonable shape. Just tuck those outside edges gently into the middle of the dough. So what you're really doing is bringing the outside edge of the dough into the centre in an effort to get a nice smooth top to cut the, to cut the scones out of the dough. So now once you've got this nice smooth uh, scone dough, you start pressing it out into a, a neat shape. Flour the cutter and then cut out as many, as you, many scones as you can from the first uh, rolling. Every time you roll out this scone dough, it's going to, the scone will be slightly tougher. When they're going into the pan, um, I like to have the scones just touching, just. Whereas if you put them uh, separately, they'll get a crust all the way around them. And I guess it depends on what kind of scone you want. When you're making scones, the first thing you should do is get that oven ready because you do need a high temperature. These are cooked, there you go, beautiful.